Hits IP 617. Internet station. High Power 617. WIPB FM. Boston. High Power 617 Radio. On Accomplishments, the inventors, and much, much more. Here in Boston, in Massachusetts, in New England, in the United States, and the world. Celebrating Black History, where knowledge and information is power. 365 Black. Learning about Black in America. Right here, right now. I I power 617. We lost Edda James this year. We'll do a Black History Fact on her next week. We lost Don Cornelius. We also do a Black History Fact on that next week. Um, today, I promised we would do Whitney Houston, so we're not going to waste no time. Time for the American Black History Fact, presented by McDonald's, deeply rooted within the African-American communities. 365. It's 366 this year because of the leap year. Got a little known Black History Fact, and we do not wait for February to learn about our people and their own history. And don't forget, Black History is also American history right now this is making history and yes this is about our beloved Whitney Houston born in New Jersey on August 9th 1963 daughter of gospel singer Sissy Houston Whitney Houston was destined to be a musical icon with godmother the Queen of Soul Aretha Franklin and cousin Dionne Warwick Whitney's success was pretty set in stone from the start of her career in the 1980s Whitney had the talent and looks of a pop star whether decked out in evening gowns or sporting off the shoulder t-shirt the pop diva always projected an image of stardom and glamour. Her range was amazing, belting out gospel music and singing sweet pop songs. Whitney's performance always amazed and inspired. Houston had many great hits, including Saving All My Love For You, which got her Grammy for Best Female Pop Vocal. Other hits like How Will I Know, The Greatest Love Of All, Where Do Broken Hearts Go, and I Wanna Dance With Somebody, quickly became audience favorites. She even had an acting career, beginning with a memorable performance in The Bodyguard in 1992 with Kevin Costner. Houston even revamped Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You, which sold 10 million singles, and The Bodyguard soundtrack was named Album of the Year. During her career, she sold 55 million records in the United States alone. Houston influenced many younger song stresses like Mariah Carey and Christina Aguilera. Whitney's lifestyle took a turn for the worse when she married bad boy Bobby Brown from New Edition from 1992 to 2003 and her drug problems began to make tabloid headlines. Her habits started to take a toll on her voice and appearance and she eventually became a fleeting shadow of the bright eye Whitney we know and loved. Whitney did not blame her demons on her husband, however, Whitney said her and Bobby Brown weren't as different as most people might think. In a 1993 Rolling Stone interview, Whitney shared, you see somebody and you deal with their image, that's their image. It's not a part of them, it's not the whole picture. I am always in a sweet sequined gown. 
I am nobody's angel. I can get down and dirty. I can get raunchy. That was from Whitney Houston. By the time the preacher's wife was released, drug abuse was a regular thing for Houston. Things fell apart for Whitney after that. She had been looking gaunt and unhealthy, and her career was not what it had been in the beginning. A Good Morning America appearance went bad when her voice sounded ragged and off-key. Whitney blamed an Oprah interview for straining her voice, but people speculate other reasons for her failing performance. Whitney's concert became less and less popular with the crowd after she canceled some concert appearance and failed to hit certain notes in her songs, causing fans to walk out at some of the shows. Despite of her troubles, her 2009 comeback, I Look To You, debuted on the top of the charts and went platinum. Whitney Houston was working to turn around her career with a performance in an upcoming movie, Sparkle, the remake of the 1976 film inspired by the Supremes. The night of her passing, she was to be the guest of honor at Clyde Davis's annual pre-Grammy bash. Davis, now 79 years old, discovered the singer when she was only 20 years old. He reluctantly went on with the party, tearfully telling the crowd Whitney was a beautiful person and she had a talent beyond compare. She graced the stage with her regal presence so many times, giving so many memorable performances here and over the years. So simply put, Whitney would have wanted the music to go on and her family and acts that we carry on. And sadly, Whitney Houston lost her life on Saturday, February 11th, 2012. She was only 48 years old. And Whitney Houston will be missed, and we will continue to play her songs here on iPower 617. And that was your American Black History Fact, presented by McDonald's, deeply rooted within the African American community, 365 days a year. The American Black History Fact, Thursdays and Fridays, only on Boston Nation's Forever Evening Show, iPower 617. IP617. How you gonna know where I'm at if you ain't been where I've been? Understand where I'm coming from? <laughs> Candidate running for Congress from Massachusetts, Carla Romero, next, here on this old Funkin' Disco Friday. The time is now, 19 minutes before the hour. More of Old Funk and Disco Friday on the 617 Evening Show. Time for last night's winning Massachusetts State Lottery numbers. Right here, right now. Here on the 617 Evening Show. Time for tonight's midday numbers game drawn earlier this afternoon for Friday, February 24th, 2012. Tonight's midday numbers game was 4482. That's 4482. Stefan Mason has last night's winning lottery numbers on this old Funkin' Disco Friday. Thanks, Ricky. Time for last night's winning lottery numbers for Thursday, February 23rd, 2012. Midday daily drawings was 7897. Again, that's 7897. Evening daily drawings was 0036. That's 0036. Cash windfall. 6, 16, 17, 27, 30, 41. Again, that's 6, 16, 17, 27, 30, 41. There were no jackpot winners last night. The next estimated jackpot for Monday, February 27th, 2012, will be $2 million. Tonight's jackpot game is Mega Millions. Estimated jackpot, $83 million. Mass cash, 3, 5, 8, 19, 27. Again, that's 3, 5, 8, 19, 27. There was two jackpot winners last night in Newton and North Attleboro, Massachusetts. Play Mass Cash seven days a week for your chance to win 100 grand. If you hit all five numbers, 250. If you hit all four numbers, and 10. If you match all three numbers.